sometimes we come across a passage of Scripture that's challenging. Sometimes we come across a passage of Scripture that's so challenging that we kind of want to overlook it and go on to something that's a little more familiar or a little more comfortable. That's the case for our Bible verse this Sunday in worship. The Gospel lesson we're going to be reading out of the Gospel of Mark for the next few weeks. And this Sunday I'll be preaching from Mark chapter 3 verses 20 through 35. And there are two things that happen in this Gospel account that most people find pretty disturbing. The first thing that happens is as Jesus is beginning to get a following and a crowd to listen to his teaching, his family becomes convinced that Jesus has lost his mind. And so they go to go get him, to keep him from acting so crazy. And when Jesus finds out that they're there, he refuses to even acknowledge them. That's just not the kind of family we want to think Jesus comes from. We don't want people thinking Jesus is crazy. And we don't like the idea of Jesus telling his mother, I don't want to see you. And then there's another part of this passage where Jesus talks about a certain type of sin, a sin against the Holy Spirit. And he says, if someone sins against the Holy Spirit, they can never have forgiveness. Now, we're a people of grace. We're a people who believe in a God of unconditional love and un limited mercy. So what's Jesus saying here if there's somebody who can't have forgiveness? This passage of Scripture runs against our understanding of family and who Jesus is, and it kind of runs against how we understand grace and mercy. So we're going to spend a little time this Sunday unpacking this challenging passage of Scripture, because I promise you, no matter what we read in the Gospel, there is always a word of grace, and there is always a word of hope. And I promise you that this passage of Scripture will have both. I invite you to join us together in worship this Sunday at 8.30 and 11 o'clock. Of course, we're gathering for worship in the sanctuary, and we love to join everybody that's worshiping with us online as well.